Hey guys, Dan D from musicmarketing.ca and I've been asked many times if it's possible to automate third party plugins. Now the answer to that question is yes you can. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. FL Studio 10, producer edition and uh, let's get to it. So let's go to our mixer. I'm going to just load in third party uh, VSD, Spitfish. It's just a de-esser. It works pretty well. Um, and yes, so I want to automate, let's say, this, this knob right here, the sense button. Okay. Um, first off, we need to go to this little button right here. It's the multi-link to controllers. Uh, you click that once, touch the knob, and then unclick that multi-link to controllers again. And then this comes up. Now, um, you can, uh, if you want, if you have a MIDI keyboard or some sort of faders or something, something MIDI related, you can link it right away just by touching the knob you want to use to do that. So now I'm using my 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 key station, my M Audio key station, to um, I guess move that around. Um, to record automation, you can either just hit record. Make sure it's an automation though. Uh, Oh, I'll do it here so you can see it. There it is. You can do it like that. Or you can go to tools. Now this one's a lot a lot easier. Okay. Go to last tweaked. And then it says right here, Spitfish Sense. Then you can go to create automation clip. And you can create your automation that way. So now if I go back to my Spitfish. There you go just according to my automation so yes it's possible to do this anyways I'm Dan D from Music Marketing and if you have any questions go on the forum FL Studio uh, forum and uh, write some something down and I can answer it and uh, make sure you guys cap some of my uh, presets that I put on there and yeah I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya!